Welcome back. Today we're going to show you how we determine the inside angle for the arch and then the sides of the frame. Now the dollhouse kit did come with some stuff to make it but it just really was not worth using because it just looked all nasty so we decided to make our own. The bottom we actually used just a popsicle stick to do that with but you can leave yours without it I guess. This room isn't done yet so we still are working on that. Um, the rosettes there's a tutorial on that so you can you know go look at that and see how we made those and then the top is one piece and the bottom sides are two other pieces okay so we're using a thin piece of wood that is one half inch by two and a quarter inch by one eighth inch thick if you don't have the ability to cut or you don't you know have a way to cut it up you could always use mat board and do it with that now this is a piece of matte board held against there. I'm not sure if you can really see it because it's very bright. But um, it's about 16th of an eighth inch thick. You could double it up or you can just have a thinner piece. But the matte board's pretty sturdy too. So you can do that because you're gluing it to the wall. If you don't have the ability to cut it or to use wood. We used a sheet of 1 eighth by 4 by 24 basswood and that's how we determine the top of it but again you can use the mat board if you don't have the ability to cut this stuff yeah you can use a compass the opening between here is two inches so if you go one inch across with your compass you can determine how you want to make this arch And it comes out. Now I have a little more expensive one, but you can get those little cheap ones that you got to adjust it by hand. But this one, I have the convenience of adjusting it with a screw. Do it that way and then put your little rosette in the corner which goes the little rosette goes in this corner here like this and you have your little little rosette goes around in there That'll be like that. and that, then you can just draw all this draw this on the paper your mat board and you don't have to waste a lot of mat board right because you can put this one like this and then put the other one like that and then do it another one or you can go on top of one another like this but it's only four inches wide so you can put one this way one that way one this way and one that way be this way this way this way and that way and then your straight pieces, you could also do the same thing by just yeah, you can putting cut them, them all at the same time. They go right in there, you know, mm -hmm. like that. And then it, when you're also cutting them, if you are using mat board, one cut could actually be two pieces because you're cutting it down in between it. Yeah, you cut the, the length of it, a piece about that long, and then just mark four straight lines and cut it or eight whatever we you need yeah because with matte board you won't have to allow the difference between the saw bleed but that's it you'll just take this and you'll transfer it and then glue it together and then you'll have windows like we do okay so that's what it looks like now when you determine yours you can make this and that the same exact side we actually let ours be a little bit offset but there you go. Alright, thanks for watching and follow Dollhouse Mantra Madness and Tutorials on Facebook for more DIY. Also, you can follow my Pinterest page under Laurie Holden Eisler. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.